Welcome, today we're making this silver roll chain handmade. So we're going to start by melting some silver in our pot. Uh, don't forget to put some borax or some flux in there to help the silver come together. I put some oil in my skillet, help it flow nicely. And then just leave to cool. Now when milling out it's very important to take your time. This is a slow process. It has to be done slowly um, or else you run the risk of cracking your metal. Be sure to anneal your metal every now and again to soften it, to avoid it from cracking. Here I'm just milling at the, the end of the bar just to make a point. You can also file it just to make it more pointy. Once again I want to heat it up before I run it through the draw plate so it's nice and soft. I'm using some beeswax just to help it flow through the uh, Draw plate, some WD-40, or use oil, whatever you have. Here I'm using a small piece of emery paper just to protect the metal so I don't mark it. If your wire is a bit rough, you can use a bit of emery paper just to smoothen it down there. Notice the hook at the end of the wire so it fits inside the hand drill. When you come to the end there, make sure you go backwards so the end of the wire doesn't cut your finger. I'm softening up the metal so when I open up the links it'd be easier. Now I didn't uh, close the links because when I open it, notice how it becomes even parallel.
you're not going to want to measure each opening so what you want to do is just mark it with a felt tip pen so you know where to stop Right, this is where it gets interesting notice how my right hand is away and my left hand is towards me and they come together just make sure that no link is higher than the other make sure they're both level and parallel Now we're going to do the same thing again, but just run it through the first link. Now this third link is going to go through the first two links that you put together. This is where it gets really tricky to solder and I lost patience. If you're fortunate like me and you have a laser machine at work, this is the best way to do it. I'm, I'm having trouble trying 
trying to link it through that's because the link is very tight what I've done is I've opened it up where it was about two and a half mil I pushed it up to about three mil I came to the center of that black mark every time you give this a go always do a small sample to make sure you're happy with it it moves around freely so if you do need to open up the links you can open them up now I've got the links the way I want them it's ready for sold up If you didn't see the way it was being put together it goes through that second link there where I've got a copper wire going through decided to solder the other side of the link just to give it that extra strength be sure to warm up your silver before putting it into your pickle or your acid this bracelet I just went for something simple with just a jump ring and a simple lock it's also a good idea to put your bracelet through a pin barrel before polishing it notice I'm polishing it with a brush I'm holding the back I'm not letting it dangle I don't want the machine to grab the uh, bracelet again especially with the mop uh, hold your bracelet with two hands don't let it dangle And this is the finished product nice in the background I've got different sizes they're gonna be for a later video in the future so please subscribe so you don't miss out and uh, thanks for watching